here we are in a beautiful Andes, Texas day looking at a very nice handling several cars for a collection 1957 Studebaker Golden Hawk this is a very beautiful car with a very nice history we're gonna walk around and tell you what we know and uh, hopefully the uh, winds not gonna affect our uh, camera mic but we think we got that covered anyway this car was restored by the guild in Ontario Canada it was originally a an American car and then it migrated up there for the restoration. Uh, it was restored by the guild and it was completed like in 2004, 2003 and 2004. Very high level six figure style restoration on a good original solid kind of car. Pardon if my camera got off a little bit there. We're gonna get back to the office and we're gonna uh, you know decipher what we can we actually have an email that's been forwarded to us uh, when the owner originally purchased this uh, from the guild talking about the car this particular car when it was just finished um, it is a 289 uh, factory supercharged version with an automatic transmission probably should get that out It's just beautiful um, anyway when it was just finished it took a 12 and a half hour me a drive all the way down to Charlotte North Carolina without any issues not trailered and it was judged and uh, it beat uh, first in class at the show it was uh, the score was like 385 out of 400 it was only knocked for a few little things and one of them was presentation which means a lot because that car was just a little dusty from a road trip at 12 and a half hours so nice restoration doesn't appear to have a lot of miles on it since it was restored the odometer doesn't appear that it was reset at the restoration which would tell us it's probably a 50 some thousand mile car before it was done the presentation on this car is spectacular the chrome is beautiful the fit and finish is nice very nice um, supercharged car has this bolster in the hood here um, but the chrome and bright work was done at a high level of restoration the marker lights here on the fenders uh, the grill openings on the side here the air intakes where the uh, actually right up in here is where the hood release is in case you need to know all the glass and the trim and the bright work on this car is really special you'll see here as we go around with it I'm move my camera around a little bit so sorry about that we're gonna get up high this is just a beautiful sporty looking 57 Golden Hawk. You just don't see cars like this very often. And again, the level of restoration is very nice. And there's some good documentation in the trunk. Uh, I believe the gentleman that had it restored, actually Johnny Lightning, did a little die-cast model car, like a Hot Wheels kind of car for this car. Uh, there are several of them that are included with the car, like five of them. Its history and some of the awards are in the trunk. Um, it's got a, a Wint Champ, Class Champ uh, Cup in the trunk, or Best of Show. Anyway, again, like I said, the bright work. I wiped this whole car down myself today. It's sitting in a very large collection. Um, it fired right up, sitting up on a lift with several other cars, and we'll actually have a picture of that collection at spudsgarage.com. Just kind of a show where it was at. Anyway, um, I wiped the whole car down today myself, and just a really nice fit and finish car. The bright work's spectacular. Uh, factory white walls, so you know, factory style hubcaps. This is a apparently a Studebaker uh, sticker at the time. We stand to stand behind the quality of of this vehicle. I don't know if that was a factory or something from the guild, but the fit and finish on this car is just beautiful. I know I've said that a few times, and I'll probably keep saying it as I go around here. But you know, we're trying to give you a good feel of the car, the interior, and the reason I believe that the miles on this car are very limited. Um, I know I'm tied up against a building here. I've been trying to avoid some wind. But the interior is literally not even a mark in the interior. It's very nice white. Show the door panels here. I should be able to get this door up enough to show you here on the passenger side. Ashtray. Show you here there's got a Johnny Lightning, one of those uh, die cast models in the glove box here. We'll bring that up a couple of times as we go throughout the car. We go through in the trunk and we share that with you and we've taken pictures and we'll have plenty of still photos at spudsgarage.com. But it's quite clear no corners were cut on this car when they did the restoration. When you judge cars like this and you go for concourse judging, everything's got to work. Um, you'll see up there as I got the door open, the dome lights on. Door jam to door jam, just a really nice little car. You can see the reflections of the red building. 
Um, we might take a few shots out in the sun if I can get them done. Door shuts nice, the gaps and seams are right. See my reflections in the side of the car here. And the building of course. Pretty hard to step back on this side and share it with you. We cover the engine compartment very nicely detailed in the engine compartment. Equally so trunk, we actually put it up on a lift for you to take a really good look at the undercarriage to know how solid this car is. Excellent specimen to begin with. Show you the finish here, the Golden Hawk on the back. You can actually see the paint finish and the chrome on this car. It's just, like I said, spectacular. The wings are just, we'll give you a look down the wings here. Getting a little windy today. We're kind of stuffed up a building, up against a building doing the photo shoot. This car pretty much speaks for itself without a lot of fluff. But when I see a car like this, I think original cars, you know, the original style restorations like this, they're just, and, and the colors on this car are just perfect. The black and white, exhaust tips on the back there. Do a lot of hot rods, as you know, but I really do a lot of original cars too. They just seem to go a little bit faster. And they're, uh, when they're like this, it's fun. Nice trim, really nice bright work here. Glass is very, very nice. And I'm going to step back here and let you take a really good look at it. We'll actually take it for a spin around the block here, around the building. Really nice collection up here in Texas. Some mighty fine cars. He likes everything from original to hot rods. And this is original. Originally equipped, put it that way. It's been restored. Turn metal dash is all factory. The VIN on this car is 6103674. The model number's in underneath the hood, and I cover that when I get underneath the hood. Factory performance dash in it, which uh, those look like either sun or... Uh, Probably early sun gauges that were used for here. I'm not a Studebaker specialist, but I can tell you those are early performance gauges. I know the uh, manifold get pressure gauge works, the supercharger. We're going to fire this girl up. Starts right up. Automatic transmission right there. He just keeps battery tenders on him, fires them up every now and then, takes them for a drive. Gas is pretty low in it, so I'm not going to take it for too much of a spin. Charging like it's supposed to. Water temp's not even up yet. Oil pressure's about 40. What a pretty dash. Anyway, I'm going to hop out and let you hear it run. Definitely going to remind you one more time to go to Spud's Garage and hang on to the end of the video. Easy driver, cool car, investment grade collectible is what I'd call this car. Hang on to the end of the video. Alright, let's look underneath the hood here. You can tell just by the under the hood here, the level of detail on this car is awesome. And it would have taken a very nice original style car to do this level of restoration on it. It appears all the wirings went through, been gone through. Connections are right. That's a battery tender hanging down there connection. 289 sweepstakes v8 studebaker v8 underneath the hood here it is uh supercharged jet stream studebaker supercharged so it's a factory supercharged uh golden hawk has a hydromatic automatic transmission which makes it nice and fun to drive all factory underneath you need to hang on because we'll cover the undercarriage on it too here at the end but we cover everything that we can up front here all the chrome and plate works very nice you can see they finished the front splash pan there all the latches latches have been cleaned and painted and refinished core supports all been repainted there fan shrouds a beautiful gloss black again sweepstakes 289 factory style generator on it so it's still got the same uh, voltage system in it You'll see the Delco ramming tag there. Tag on the firewall, 57HK7, 3608. 
We actually will have the VIN number off the door jam too. But just kind of giving you a good feel all along here underneath the hood. I had the opportunity to wipe this whole car down and you know it's nice. This is a nice, nice Golden Hawk. Spent two days out here in Texas. A little tired. All factory belt drive there. Supercharged. Mechanical fuel pump. Anyway, there you have it. Go to spudsgarage.com where we'll definitely have more. Talk to you soon. All right, let's get underneath the trunk. We always get around to the trunk for you here, but we want to show you this one comes with a trunk full of goodies. Anyway, this is a very nicely restored car and it's well documented. Um, its restoration was restored by the guild up in Canada and it was an American car to begin with. Um, we have that. We also know that the car was judged and it was judged very close to perfect or up very high on the scale. One of the reasons it was knocked, what we're told, I don't know that we have the judge sheets, but I do have an email from the guild. Uh, these floor mats, uh, they knocked them some points because those Studebaker floor mats went in and they're not stock. Anyway, the spare tire here is all there. The jack is here, so on and so forth. Finished in a, I believe this is a factory style primer that they would have done on the deck lid. Uh, again, they tried to do their best to make this car, from what I can tell, a judgeable car. Um, chrome and bright work is just really special. Anyway, there's some there's some plaques and awards in the trunk here. We know it was finished in late 2000 or in 2004. It was able to capture a first place at the Charlotte 40th International Meet. There is a uh, a uh, cup here, 16th anniversary of the uh, Willistead Classic in 2004. The American uh, it won a as a class champion, so there's the cup for that. Um, there's actually the documentation here that talks about that event or those events. Studebaker by Ed Reynolds uh, book, but this car also, this car was restored for a gentleman named Brian Gibson and uh, Johnny Lightning actually produced a model car based on this car. This is Brian Gibson's 1957 Studebaker Golden Hawk. These are in the trunk and they are included with the car. There's several of them. I think there's four of them or so. And there's some rocker panels here, 57 uh, Studebaker rocker panels. Probably ones uh, replacements, that kind of thing. But really nice, clean car cover, so on and so forth. Anyway, thanks for coming to Gr Spud's Garage. Hang on to the end of the video where we'll definitely have more. Talk to you soon. All right, we're going to take our little drive around the block here. I don't want to go too far because of gas, but I'm going to show you we operate them driving. This thing steers super easy. Beautiful day here in Texas. Just a little bit windy and a little bit warm. Anyway, hey, go to spudsgarage.com. Definitely hang on to the, window, the end of the video. Have a great day. All right, let's take a look at the undercarriage here. Again, we're fortunate enough to have a lift. Um, we'll also do a ground uh, undercarriage video because of the wind situation here. Hope this comes out. Anyway, very nicely done body on style restoration. Um, Super clean and solid car, which will give you a good idea of what this car started like before it was restored by the guild. Um, they went through, There's we have pictures uh, in the file that shows that they went through the rear end and cleaned everything up. It has a stabilizer bar in the back here, which is, I'm sure, stock or an optional item. Um, all new exhaust system on it. But this car is just really rock solid. I've been underneath the undercarriage here and studied it really good. Um, again, as documented on the uh, TV show. Very uh, clean, solid, no excuses undercarriage on this car. Um, factory uh, coating on the bottom side of the car, that's not something somebody put on there. We'll show you why here in a minute where I looked at it or uh, where you can see a spot where the factory has come off because it picked up a little oil spot or something. Hydromatic transmission. It appears the transmission has been gone through and the whole powertrain looks as though it's uh, fresh. You can see the bottom side of the block here is all done. All the suspension has new tie rod ends, so on and so forth on it. It's all nicely greased. All the brakes have new bleeders on them, all new hoses. Um, so clearly this car has been gone through. 
body on restoration so it had to be a good start car to start with um, it's like all new suspension bushings done at the time of the restoration see the road draft tube right there but the side of the block it's all been gone through looks like it all has all new freeze plugs in it so on and so forth again hydromatic automatic wanted to show you a spot here where the factory coatings actually come off you can see how solid this car is up into the well here anyway we're thinking you get the idea we'll do a little walk back to the back here um, appreciate you coming to spudsgarage.com actually we'll walk out by the rockers here you'll see it has correct bias play tires on it this car has been judged as we spoke about earlier um, from what we know I don't have a judge sheet in my hand yet but uh, based on what uh, an email I've looked at anyway we'll walk at the rockers here pardon me for going under the lift you can see a view here all the way down the side very solid car original rocker drains here go around the other side I'll make you come over to the other side of the car here Everything's again been lubed up and greased, and that's why that little coating came up there. That's brake fluid. It probably had some brake fluid come down sometime when they were filling it. Why it took that coating off? Uh, you know, it looks like they did the bushings there at the brake pedal assembly, new master cylinder. Anyway, we're thinking you get the idea. Garage.com. Give you kind of a view of up here on the lift. Have a great day. Don't forget to give us a call. We're never any pressure.